All right, guys, welcome back to the live stream on the MLB Nightings YouTube channel and come to us USA Twitch channel. Last week I had something pop up and we had to cancel the stream a little late. So we're going to be doing what we were going to be doing last week. There's a few things we added, but uh, yes, so I miss you guys. It's been a little bit, but we are back. And so today I haven't streamed since the game updated to MLB Nightings 23. So they haven't done the big update to where all the players and everything will be updated. That'll be when the season's about to start. But we did update the game to MLB Nightings 23 and there is a whole new update that came with it and stuff as well so it was it's the 8.0.0 update and um it's crazy to think we started streaming on this channel when it was mlb nightings 21 been through mlb nightings 22 and now we're in mlb nightings 23 and i started playing this game in mlb nightings 20. it's just crazy to see how far this game has come and so we're going to be going over that today and then we got prime bronson arroyo from a team select diamond pack the last stream we had um that, that was the first prime i've gotten from a tsd since i got kershaw on my main account in like early 2021 in like february that was crazy and so we'll be working on him today we're gonna try and get a decent skill set on him and he's gonna be in a rotation for a little bit and then after that we're going to be making another player a diamond and then we're gonna be making him a black diamond today and you guys got to choose the last player via a poll that was done on nine inning social media in terms of who we were gi'ing i'm choosing this time and what a lot of you guys agree that this is a player we should have done Tony Perez, the Reds legend that we got. We're gonna be making him a diamond a day, black diamond him, using some premium skill change to get, try to get a good legend set on him. And um, if there's time left over, we might work on Castillo. I, I, I don't even know if we've really touched him at all, but uh, if there's time left over, we might touch him as, as well. But we gotta work on Arroyo and stuff today. Lots of stuff to do. Good to see you guys in here, let's see. And one last thing before I get to you guys' chats. Coupon today, two premium packs and 20 condition drinks that'll be given up at the end. And Kate Moo, how's it going? 20 team fireballs, good to see you here, brother. Billy Ball, 1980, what's up? Cross X Bones, how's it going? Christian, how's it going? Good to see you in here. Tatiana, what is up? Jose Mata, hello. The set, how's it going? Jeffrey Hernandez, good to see you in here. Andrew Yee, hello, good to see you. David, glad you are back as well. Geo Guy, how's it going? Vargas, how's it going? Hola, let's see. Story time, what is up? Sox Nation, hello. See who else is in here. Did I miss anyone else? Andrew, how's it going? Waskar, what is up? Ola, Lou Rock Nation. If I have met, missed any of you guys in the um, in the chat, go ahead and say what's up, and I'll say how's it going. But either which way, let's get this thing started. We have a lot to do today, and I'm kind of worried we're not going to get to do all of it because of the uh, update that we have to go over. And there's one section of the update that is not available until February 11th, starting that week. So we'll go over it, but I have limited information. It's literally just based off of what is in the news on the update. So just, just saying, bear with me on that. Siebert, how's it going as well? And let's get this thing started. Okay, so we start this out every time. Let's get our friend points. First thing you should do when you log in, get your friend points. If you have people on your friends list, send it to them and you'll receive friend points as well. Then I go to the friend point shop. And I normally wait for bronze lottery tickets right here. There's condition drinks and also bronze gear, or you can buy packs. I suggest you do the bronze lottery tickets unless an intermediate player packs can be helpful for you or not. We'll see. Up opening packs today, no packs today. We just had a huge pack opening in the last stream. So we have a lot of players to work on right now, but we'll probably be opening packs probably for sure next week because we'll be in February. I'm thinking we'll be doing historic player packs again because that'll refresh. Well, we're 0 for 40. I think we're 0 for 41, right? Am I right on that? I can't remember, but we're going for the Chris Davis 0 for 54, which will take February and March. So we'll see if that happens. AK is good to see you here, brother. Let's see, did I miss anyone else? Goners, good to see you, Barry. What is up, Hang? Hello, Raphaelis. How's it going? Did I miss anyone else? What channel and game? We are in channel 113 today. All right, so we got friend points. Let's see, can we get a diamond or prime from the free daily pack? I've never done it on stream. I've done it on my Astros and Dodgers account before and i don't think it's gonna happen today yeah i mean like like i said we only stream once a week the chances of us getting a prime or a diamond pretty low pretty low that card's not the worst not the greatest i've ever seen either so all right first thing we're gonna do let's finish up the draw event right here um so this draw event right here <clears throat> i believe it's not this one that's the stork event this draw event right here, make sure you use your points. So if you have any points remaining right now, make sure you use them before the end of tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, because after the end of tomorrow, it will reset your points, use them, because each month this is going from January, February, and March, it will reset your points. So make sure you spend them before 
you can't spend them anymore. So I think what we'll do, we already got all these items down here, I'm pretty sure. So we are gonna go ahead and get a vintage player. We're gonna do a reds vintage player. We'll do a prime probably next month when the new primes are supposed to drop. Pretty sure there's new primes coming next month. So that's when we'll do a reds prime. We'll see if the reds get any primes. I doubt it, but you never know. Um, let's go ahead and do the reds vintage. So I'm thinking I go either, I'm, I'm not sure how many vintages I, that there are. I think I probably go Johnny Bench, right? Because we're guaranteed to get Johnny Bench if we go with if we go with Johnny, I'm pretty sure, right? So if we go vintage right here, I'm pretty sure if I go catcher, we'll get Johnny. I think he's the only vintage catcher. We'll go gold because I'm just gonna try and use him as like upgrade material or something if we eventually get his sig or something, depending on what we wanna do. But let's see, let me make sure. Let's see, Josh Spain, how's it going? Geo guy, what's up? Did I miss anyone else? Carter, love sports and aviation. How's it going? We are channel 113, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure that's who we would wanna go because George Foster, let's see, position. No, no, we wanna go vintage. Okay, so vintage. If we went outfield, we could get Sanders, Daniels, or Foster. Foster is a, G, uh, a SIG change ticket candidate, so is Bench, but we're guaranteed to get Bench if we go catcher, so we're gonna go Bench for that. That's exactly what we're gonna go with. And, uh, cause if there's players, if there's multiple players at the same position, you're not guaranteed to get that player from this event, so make sure you guys keep that in mind as well. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go catcher, and this should give us Johnny Bench no matter what. Go catcher, boom. All right, and then it should be sent to the inbox. I think we have to claim it. Yeah, we got to collect it right there. And so then you go to inbox and boom, you'll see it. And yes, Johnny Bench, the gold right there. Go ahead and collect all. This is part of the new update too. This inbox animation, we'll get to that when we get to the update. So that's done. Make sure you guys use those points before they are gone. There you guys go. So that's done. Let's do the regular heat season hit event and do this make sure you guys get your bonus missions bonus hits done if you haven't already you can do it five times per month you guys are running out of days in january but it'll reset in february so there we are and we are two away from getting the gi on this account we're at 98 so in two more days we will get another gi on this account from this event i wonder how close are you guys how many days do you guys have left let me know in the comments as well. I got two more on this account. I don't even know how many I have left on my Dodger account or Ash's account, but this one is two. We got two, we're so close. That's you guys, That's why you guys like this event. It gives a GI. GIs are hard to come by, so, unless you unless you purchase one. GI and Perez, it's been 84 years. I know, Ben, we finally are doing it, okay? <laughs> Larry, how's it going, by the way? We're finally doing it. We're making a black diamond and all that stuff, so we'll get there, I promise, I promise. And so, um, one last thing, play pass, the off season play pass, we're gonna collect all the items right here and we can't. So last year, I talked about this in the last stream, it was a signature pack and then another normal signature pack. This year, they now give a special signature pack, which is when you get to choose from three players. They're not guaranteed to be a team, but um, let's go ahead and collect all those. Boom, and I'm gonna leave that in the inbox so that I can show you what it'll look like with the new update because that's part of it. And last thing we gotta do, mission box, and then I promise we'll head right into the update, guys. Right into the update. Did I miss anyone else? Saint, how's it going? Oh, Bubble, what is up? Nathan, how's it going? Pencil, good to see you here. Garrett, how's it going? Two more days for you guys, two, five for Nathan. Oh, man. So yeah, you guys have maxed it out. If everyone's at two, that means we're, we're at the highest it could be. So. We got skill change ticket times three or league ball recharge ticket times one. If it was times two, it would be a for sure league ball recharge ticket. If it was times five, it would probably be league skill change tickets. We have 142 skill change tickets. We're gonna use skill change tickets on Bronson Aurora today. But I feel like league ball recharge ticket is better because we can get premium skill change ticket, upgrade ticket or something by just going through that. What do you guys think? What are we, we feeling league reset? Recharge. Yeah, don't the batters, amps, we have way too many amp tickets on this account. Hit coins, not really worth it. I've seen multiple people get a legend. I'm pretty sure Super Pat got a dupe legend Nolan Ryan from the weekly mission box. I could be crazy. I could have swore I saw that though. I can't remember. Joshua, what's up? What's up, Josh? Good to see you. Three days left. I know we're getting so close. Salaza, how's it going as well? I'm going to go league ball recharge stick. You guys agree? I saw, I saw that. I mean, the, the rewards aren't great. Normally you can get two or five. They kind of cheeked us today, I'm not gonna lie. Yaman, yeah, good to see you here as well. 
Let's just take that and boom. So now that we're done with the daily stuff, let's get right into the 2023 update. So this is the first time I have streamed since that 2023 update, that movie 23 update. And so let's go over what is in this update. We're gonna try and fly, fly through it for you guys. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this. There's not a huge change that they made to this game or anything. There's not a huge, this isn't a big update in terms of the stuff they added to the game, but we're gonna go through it. And like I said, one of the things we actually can't even show you, we're literally, cause it's not in the game yet. It's, it's in the game, but it's not available yet, so. Let's see. Yeah, Pat duped Ryan. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was if I saw that right, but I thought it was a dupe Ryan for the weekly box. <laughs> Unknown Messiah, how's it going? Garrett, what is up? Guards winning the 2023 World Series. That's an interesting, interesting um, prediction. But all right, starting with this update, game logo changed. Obviously, it's MLB Nine Innings 23. You guys have probably played the game since the update, and you guys have probably read this already. So you guys know that it changed to 23, but the live update and stuff in terms of the players and it being a new season and everything, that will not be until the season's about to start around March. Um, so another thing, they added a nine innings exchange shop within your inventory. So pretty much there's certain items that you can exchange for better items. And that's pretty much all it is. And so you can exchange items for premium player packs, team select premium packs, or silver special training XP. Don't really know why you would exchange for silver special training XP unless you really need a special train, guys. Maybe, but I mean, you could get premium player packs and get players that you could use as special training as well. I know the XP gives it a little bit more than a normal silver player, but I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what your guys' needs are. So there's no refresh time and no limit on premium player packs or silver special training XP, but there is a limit on team select premium packs, which I really don't see you guys doing this either. I, I, I don't know why the limit's at five and why it's a refresh time of seven days on the team select premium packs. I don't see the value in that, but um, today we're gonna be literally exchanging every single basic player pack, intermediate player pack, and um, all that stuff to get all the, I think we can get close to 100 premium player packs if we exchange everything in a day like I'm gonna show you, so. Did Pat have a YouTube channel? Yes, I streamed with him a few weeks ago and I think he just uploaded a video. I think it was the one pack opening with me that, that we did a few weeks ago. I had to check out that video too. Irving, how's it going? Paul, good to see you here. V and M, how's it going? Did I miss anyone else? Did I miss anyone else? Yeah, so a lot of people probably got, if you had, I'm not kidding, I've seen people, I remember Jad talking about the 100,000 um, basic player pack club that they had stored up. So if you had 100,000, there's no limit on this. Like think about the amount of premium player packs that they got from it. Absolutely crazy, we'll, we will be doing this in just a second. But here's the list and breakdown. So for premium player packs, this is what you can exchange per pack. Um, there it is for team select packs and then silver special training XP and you guys will see that in just a second. Besides that, nothing too crazy. But if you've been saving on packs in terms of uh, basics, intermediates, and all that stuff, you're gonna be getting a good amount of premium player packs, so. This exchange shop is useless. It's technically not useless. For some people that have been storing up these packs for a long time, definitely not useless. Um, because I know people that have thousands and thousands of basic player packs, so you can get a good amount of premium packs from that, so. But I mean, I guess if you have that many packs, will you get anything useful from premium player packs? Maybe, maybe not, so we'll see. But yeah, that's new, we'll show you that in a second. This is what I was talking about in terms of it's not available in the game yet. So there's a new reward system for club now, but it's not available in the game until starting February 11th. So literally all I can show you guys is the pictures and words they have here and just try and interpret. So pretty much, there's a new reward box system you guys can see right here. And depending on where your club finishes in club battle, determines the type of rewards you can get and the amount of the quantity of those types of rewards. So the better, the higher you guys finish in club, the better rewards you're gonna get and the more of those better rewards items in terms of quantity you're gonna have as well. So the way to explain this, like I said, it it's not in the game yet, but if you go to club battle, You'll see club box reward. It is grayed out right now because it's technically not in the game yet. When this actually is available, we'll go through it actually on stream. So, um, had 500 plus premium packs works. 500 plus premium packs worth of basic and intermediate player packs. I believe it. I believe it. And I believe, yeah, I think they are going to change as well. 2018. Almost harder to watch the video than it was to watch the stream. <laughs> and man, how's it going, by the way? 
And so pretty much, if you guys finish in gold two, the rewards and stuff won't be as good as finishing gold one. Same thing, the higher you get up in terms of where you guys finish in league battle, I mean in club battle, the better the rewards and the better the quant, like the more of those better rewards you guys will be able to get. It starts February 11th, A. And so pretty much you guys see 20 reward boxes. I'm pretty sure you get to do this once every two weeks. So when you go through a cycle, once that's done and you finish, there'll be 20 of these things. And I believe one, so the amount of people you have in your club, if you have 20 club members, the maximum amount you can have, you will have 20 of these slots. And I believe one, you get to choose one slot per, per, uh, per account. So let's say I just chose this top right corner and let's say it gave me a premium skill change ticket. It gives me that and that's all I get. I think that's how it works. It's not actually in the game yet, so I'm not sure. But like you can see Jenny, she chose this top middle one, got a premium skill change ticket times one. Um, Nine Innings chose uh, this one right there and got a green skill change ticket. Awesome. And uh, Angela, is it Angelina? She got two premium skill change tickets by doing that. So, I mean, there's some good items. And as you, as you guys saw, there is a great increase ticket right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Some blues, Team Select Diamond Packs. There's some pretty decent rewards. We'll see how it gets delegated and stuff. So, um, but yeah, better the club, the better rewards, the rich get richer. That's just the uh, the tale of this game, right? Right, so, and the reward box is only available for members who participated at least 10 times in one round of club battle for their clubs. So, there's that. So I'm pretty sure if like you participate 10 times in a week, then you'll be able to do that. And so if you have less than 20 members, I'm pretty sure there won't be 20 of these tickets. They'll only be about the amount of tickets per players are in there. So, um, but then again, guys, like I said, it's not here yet. We'll see how it actually works once it's actually in the game. This is just going off of what I read and based off the pictures and it will be available. I saw someone say February 1st. I see that it's February 11th. It says right here. The club box reward will be available starting February 11th. Maybe it starts in terms of the new cycle. I have no clue. Or at the end of that, I have no clue. But I'm thinking that's when you guys will be able to start using this reward system that they added. So it's a cool idea. Thing is, it's once every two weeks. And you're not guaranteed to get the best item. It's completely luck. It's all luck. So we'll see how that works. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of club box. Any questions? I mean, I don't have all the information. I literally have all the information that you guys have, which is based off of what this is in this news. So, any questions on the club battle reward box system? Like I said, it's not here yet. Once it is available, we'll actually cover it in stream and show you guys how it actually works. So. Uh, so the first person in the club would get the GI. No, I think it's completely random. So it doesn't matter who finished the best, who did the best. I'm pretty sure it's completely random. You're just choosing a random spot and someone's gonna get really lucky and get a GI if, it, if they finish high enough, so. And I did see O'Day officially retired. Legends were removed and vintages as well. Yes, there are certain legends and vintage removed from the game as well. We're not gonna go over that today. Probably never get the GI or anything good. Hey, I mean, you never know. There's a chance, right? There's a chance. All right, so if you guys have no questions on that, we're gonna move away from that because like I said, it's not technically in the game yet and I'm discussing with you guys. So if you guys have any comments to add to the whole new club reward box thing, put it in the chat and we'll talk about it. And um, besides that, yeah. And then the next thing is some people have really liked this edition. Some people will have said it's not that, I don't know why they added this, but it, it does make the game feel different. They added a dynamic camera option. So before, when you would hit the ball and you would have plays going on, it would just be a stationary camera showing just the play going on. But now this new dynamic camera, it, I don't know. Some people have said like they get motion sickness from it. Some people really like it and say it makes the game cooler. I'll show you guys an example in just a second, but pretty much like the camera will move based off of what the play is actually doing. So like if you hit it to the left side of the infield, it'll go that way if you hit it to the right side it'll go that way and it's more of like a it's more of a perspective of the field more pov even though it's still third person obviously you can see the batter there still but um yeah also we'll, we'll show that in a second but that's that i know there were some errors that were going on with this too it's still new but it does make the game feel a little bit different it's not a huge change though so turn it off immediately <laughs> some people like it some people don't i don't know i don't know 
Reminds me of the moving cameras over the football field. I didn't even think about that. Like think about um, when the NFL does their kickoffs and it's like going with the kickoff. Yeah, I can see that. That's a good way of putting it right there. Some fair balls and I'll be calling foul. Interesting, James. I've not played enough. I don't do enough gameplay to actually really test this out. I'm normally auto playing or or not auto playing, quick playing and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's cool. Some people like it, some people don't. It's not a huge change, but I don't know. I'll show you guys an example in a second. And then the last few things, intermediate grade increase and minor grade increase tickets were added to the clutch hit shop. And then it was reworked, I think a little bit for ranked. That's that, I'm not even gonna show you guys in there. You guys have probably already seen it, but that's the price for, in terms of hit coins for a minor grade increase ticket in the clutch hit shop. And then also it's 500 hit coins for intermediate grade increase ticket in the clutch hit shop. And the quantity limit, you can get two per week for minor and once a week for intermediate, just like in the ranked shop. They're pretty much exactly the same, just using different currency, so. Um, that's not a huge thing. And the last thing really to touch on today is this new inbox reward claim pop-up. So before it would just list out all the items in a long paragraph if you had a ton of items and it wouldn't show you the actual stuff you got. Now it has this new inbox UI thing. So it shows you all the items in my mouth that way, which is what I'll show you guys right now. So let me show you guys these few things. So if you go to inbox, we have tons of items to collect. We collect all, now it shows us all that. So it shows us all the points we got each of each type of thing we got right there. So we got league three league ball recharge tickets. We got four premium skill change ticket. It just consolidates everything like that. And it, it looks cooler. It's not a huge change, but it doesn't, at least you know what you get and you don't have to sit there and read each little item and stuff. So, but yeah, that's all that changed in terms of that update with that. And so real quick, let's show you guys a dynamic camera and then I'll do the item exchange and then I promise we'll be done talking about this update and we will get started on working on a Royal Prime and then eventually GIing Perez, Black Diamond and then trying to get a good legend set, so. Dyna dynamic camera, bad. Some of you people like it. Jerry likes it. 2018 says it's mid. Some foul balls are now rightly called fair now. Well, good. If that's the case, then I I'd like it. <laughs> Seems like you're seeing the game from the ump's point of view yeah i can see that i can see that too pencil doesn't like it at all hello what's up so i'll show you guys this in just a second let's uh let's turn off quick play i'm just gonna literally do one bat one at bat just to show you guys and then uh <laughs> you guys can determine if you guys don't play the game you probably haven't seen this if you guys have played it you've probably seen this because i'm pretty sure when it updated this was the default camera angle so Let's get ready for baseball. Um, so let's play offense since we're batting first. And I'm just going to make sure that we have it on. You guys can go to settings to make sure. So if you go to game settings. So we have dynamic camera turned off. So we actually had turned it off. Let me turn it on. That's a good thing. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's off. So we got Barry Larkin up. Let's see if we can get a hit or something. Put it in play. So that's the new camera angle. It kind of just moves with where it goes. And some people like it, some people don't. So that's what it looks like. And then let me turn it off and show you guys what it was before. This is what it was like before the dynamic camera. It's not a huge difference, but you guys will see it. See? It's more like from a press box view, where the dynamic is like they said, it does seem like it's more from like the umps view. So one more time. Got Babe Ruth up, can he go large? All right, 101 mile per hour fastball, kind of slow. 98 mile per hour slider, kind of slow. I need you to pick it up. There we go. That's gonna get down. So that's the difference. <laughs> Not a huge deal, some people like it, but uh, the graphics didn't change or anything. So yeah, that's it. We'll go ahead and leave this game because we got other stuff to do. What channel are you on? Um, yes, 113. I will look at it at the end after we are done working on that. It's more evident when you get a hit, Jay. Well, Paul, I just got a hit there, okay? <laughs> I haven't actually hit a home run with it yet because I don't play the, I don't do a lot of gameplay. I'm pretty sure a home run's pretty cool. I don't know, maybe you guys have hit a home run with a new dynamic camera. I haven't played enough actual gameplay to test that out, so. <laughs> all right, last thing we'll do, let's do exchanges. So we have all this stuff we can exchange for premium player packs, let's do it. So if you hit this exchange down here, you'll see this now. 
And anything that can be exchanged will have this yellow thing in the corner. It means it can be exchanged. So pretty much, let's go here. And I want premium player packs. The rest of the stuff I don't really care about. We have 4,000 basic player packs. It's 100. Per 100 basic player packs, you get a premium player pack. So we should be able to get 42. So let's take this all the way up. We'll get 42 premium player packs from the basic player packs. Noah, what's up, by the way? Glad you can make it. Big head mode. <laughs> I tried that the first time I ever booted up the game, and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> we'll get nine from last season basic player pack. Um, we'll get, what, 40 from these right here, because it's 50 per intermediate player pack. We have 2011. And then 283 here. So we'll be able to get 96 premium player packs from what we had left over. So think. If you had a hundred thousand basic player packs, you would have gotten what a thousand premiums right there. I know of some people that have a hundred thousand basic player packs stored up. Like Jad was talking about that club. Just think about all the premium player packs if you guys have saved up. So we get ninety six from what we have in our inventory on this account. We just hit exchange, and we just got ninety six premium player packs from that. So that's cool. That's cool. And now we have a total. Does it go to inbox or does it go directly there? So now we have a total of 318 premium player packs. So, oh. Ert, how's it going? Should I go play totally baseball? Up to you, up to you. Home runs are cool with that dynamic. I'm gonna try and uh, to hit a home run tonight um, off stream and see how that goes, so. Yeah, in terms of that, that's the update. Any questions, let me know in the chat, but we are done covering the update. We got more stuff to do, so. Nine innings 23 is here, that's what's new. Nothing too crazy. We good? Thumbs up in the chat if you guys are ready to get on to Arroyo and then Perez and stuff. So I'm excited to see if we can get cheeked on skills with Perez. I use, I want to say, 15 to 20 on my new legend Catfish Hunter on my Dodgers account. Got, want to say, I think it was Pitcher's Insight. And I got one legend skill from a total of 15 premium skill change tickets when you're supposed to have a better chance of legend skills on a legend. So... Oh, cool, cool. I did see, I, I didn't actually see the confirmation, but I did hear that Jazz Chisholm was going to be the 2023 cover athlete. I did see that for the show as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started on a Royal. So first thing we're gonna do, we're going to upgrade him. Then we're going to get some skills on him. And then if we have time, we'll train him a little bit. If we don't have time, we're gonna go straight into um, legend Tony Perez and making him a diamond and then black diamond him. So. In terms of upgrading, we have to use four upgrade tickets on Aurora because we have no other Aurora cards. But we do have a Diamond Aurora, so we'll use that to finish them off to level 20. He'll be in the rotation for a little while, and we have really no one else to work on besides Perez today because we're not using all the GIs that we got. So let's just go ahead and use them. We have 35 of these upgrade tickets. We're not killing for them, so let's get them to level 18, and then we'll use that Diamond. Barry, what is up? Do you really have to spend that much money to advance? Once you get to level 100, it gets a lot more difficult. It takes a lot more time, I should say. But off the bat, no, but yes, there is a point to where it'll take a, it'll take a long time and it takes a lot of patience. And that's where people will spend money to try and speed things up, so. Skeet069, what did you ask earlier? What was your question? I didn't see it, so just repost it. All right, so he's level 16 and now he's level 18 and let's go ahead and finish him off with the diamond. That'll guarantee him to that. And boom, let's take him there. One of the most mid cover players I've ever seen. It kind of surprised me too. I mean, he's pretty well known, but I think there are other deserving people too. I don't know. I mean, I'm happy for him. Did I see that he's playing center field this year too? That they're moving to the outfield? I remember seeing stuff about that too, but. All right, Royals are 20. Now let's go ahead and do some, um, let's do some skill change tickets on him. We got 142. This is the only guy we're gonna use normal skill change tickets on today. Um, we got 100, no, 148. We collected a few today. How many is it gonna take to get a set that will be useful on a Royal? I feel like it's gonna take a long time. We got Fool's Gold right here. When we first got him, let's open up the second skill storage slot. And of course, um, I guess I'll just work on this second slot since it's more of a relief pitcher than starting pitcher slot. So. 6-9, let me know. Just re-put your question in here. 
All right, let's go ahead and start this thing. Once we see Triple Chocolate, we'll get a good set. And I love getting put away pitch. I, I absolutely love it. Since we got finesse, I'll switch to this one. All right, this is gonna be a long, a long night tonight. You guys know we get cheeked with skill change tickets on this account and on a lot of other accounts, people get cheeked too, so. Just waiting for that triple chocolate, guys. How many we're gonna use? We start at 148. How many will it take to get a good set on him? Because if we can get a good set, he can actually be useful in the rotation right now. For your GI, always pitching unless unneeded. Well, we're going, um, we're going with Perez today. We have multiple, we have multiple GIs right now. We're going with Tony Perez today, though. We have Castillo. We could use it on, and I think that's pretty much it. It's not his best year. Yes. How do you get over the burnout in the game? I haven't played in two weeks. So it's like getting nowhere. Honestly, if you're getting burnout in the game, you just got to take that time away and then come back to it. I love getting three through threes with no solid skill. Stability is a third skill. That just makes my day right there. Absolutely love seeing that. Thanks for the tease. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Because I honestly would be willing to use a green or two on, on a Prime Royal. I know it's not the best card in the game, but... 80 says Saint. I don't even know if we have enough time to go through 80. Ert says 68 skill change tickets. I hope it doesn't take that long. If we have to go under 100, I wouldn't actually be surprised, honestly. Honestly. Dude, come on, man. 2018, I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Stability, the last boss pitching machine. Nah, it's still not crazy. Still not crazy. Another 333. Um. It has finesse. Do we want to use some greens? I'm just in between because this is a this. I mean, like, this is a definition of like not a great prime. But I don't know how long he'll be in. I mean, how many greens do we have? We have 42. You know, my intuition, like the smart play, is to not use greens on this prime. But I'll do what you guys want. I'll spin over here. Touchable last boss, not bad. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to waste greens though on a prime though. Yes, keep giving me three three threes. I love this. Thank you. With absolute trash. Do it for the content. I felt that AK is like, is it the right decision? Probably not. But if you guys want to see it, we can do it. It would help if I knew what skills I needed for the player. Well, if you're in my Discord, or if you go on the MLB Innings Reddit, Fu has posted guides that have all your answers to those questions in terms of skills. And I can send them to you if you need them to. Go for it, you guys want me to? Use two greens. All right, I'll do this last one. All right, we'll go use some greens, I guess. You guys, I always give in to peer pressure. You guys know me too well, okay? We'll use two, we'll use two. <laughs> for the content. It pains me doing this, but. All right, here we go. I'm feeling no gold skills right here. Actually, we got two gold skills. Oh, yes. I love getting put away pitch, baby. Yes, yes. All right, at this point, how many blues we got? I don't know if I want to use a blue. I think we could get a... You guys think we could... Oh, no. Put away pinch. I don't know. Finesse Dom is solid. I just wish we didn't get put away pitch. The most useless gold skill for a pitcher. We only had to use two. You guys are right. I don't think we use a blue, though, right? We can get by with where we're at with Finesse Dom, you think, right? Even though put away is trash, can? What are we feeling? What are we feeling? What are we feeling? Use two blues. See, the thing is, we we had 42 greens, but we only got 20 blues, and blues are what kills. We use how many blues on Castellanos? So I want to say, like, almost 30. Finn Dom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Finn and Dom is, is enough to where I really don't feel like with where we're at, we need a third skill and waste it on him. It has 20. Joshua, 20 is nothing. I ran through how many with Castellanos? <laughs> same set on Gagne. I have that same set on my, or I used to have that on my Grinky and then I got 
clean up your mess and it was a 3 3 2. It was not the exact same. Is being stingy with that? Josh, if you if you saw how many Castellanos took, you understand why I'm being stingy on the blues. Greens, I never have any problems, okay? Alright, one's in the chat if you want me to use two blues. Zero's in the chat if you guys don't want me to use any, because we shouldn't use any with where we're at, but I will give in to peer pressure. <laughs> we can we can double up and go two two tonight. I just feel like this is a meme account sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you guys kill me, you guys kill me. Watch, we're gonna blue twice and get two bronzes. I'm telling you. Exactly, Ben. Because with greens, you're looking to get one good skill at least out of two, where blues, it has to be that skill. Exactly. That's why I don't, that's why I have so many greens. All right, I've seen literally two zeros. And I see a five in there, which counts as like, it's pretty much all ones. I see a couple zeros in there, guys. All right, you guys want some meme content? Here you go. We'll do two blues. And when we get two bronzes in a row, I'm gonna laugh, okay? All right. <laughs> Here you guys go. There's a bronze and... <laughs> if only he was a relief pitcher, yeah, guys. If only he was a relief pitcher. If he was a relief pitcher, I would be so happy. So happy. So happy. Ah, okay, whatever. <laughs> it wasn't two bronzes, so I guess I was technically wrong. I guess I was wrong. Um. All right. What we'll do. What we'll do. Um. Do you want to train a royal? Or do you want to go do Perez and then come back to Royal? You guys to choose how you want this stream to go. Do we want a GI and Black Diamond Perez and do premium skill change tickets and then train a Royal? Or do we want to train him a little bit and then go to Perez? I don't care what we do. Two more? No. Why did you trust us? I trusted you guys because you guys asked for it. And I told you it wasn't going to be anything good. <laughs> uh. Best winning me pitcher, I know. He'll be so dominant. He's not giving up anything in the first inning, I can tell you that. First inning, he's locked down. I figured you guys would want to work on Perez. We can. Perez, then Arroyo. I agree because we never know how long the training session could take, too. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen. Please, no train. <laughs> yeah, you don't like watching paint dry? You don't like watching paint dry, Ben? Do premium skill change tickets and then skill change tickets on Perez with no legend. Yeah, that, that was the plan. That was the plan. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. So, um, <laughs> we have three GIs right now. We're about to get four in uh, about two days on Wednesday. Today, we're going to be GIing another player. And today, it's going to be the legend Tony Perez that I can't even remember when we pulled him. We've had so many guys to work on. We still have Vado. We still have Duvall. We still have Castillo. And um, I, I'm forgetting someone else too. So yeah, but today we're going to be grade increasing Perez. And then what we're going to be doing as well, we have the black diamond change ticket we got from compensation for an error that they did and um, a big error in the game. And we have 312 black diamond pieces. So, and when we get eight more black diamond pieces, we'll be able to do a total of two SIGs to black diamond. It's 160 black diamond pieces for a SIG. It's 200 for a legend. So in terms of maximizing our use out of this black diamond change ticket, we're gonna use it on Perez because he's 200 black diamond pieces if we don't. So I wanna maximize this black diamond change ticket by using it on a legend. He's our only legend we can use it on. So that's what we're gonna do. That's why we're gonna use the black diamond change ticket on him. You guys don't agree? I don't know why you guys wouldn't, but yeah. So let's go ahead and grade increase him. And I think he's a gold already. I'm not sure. Training is so overwhelming. It's not as bad as it was back in the day. It took forever to train and, um, but it's still not fun. I agree, I agree. So there's Legend Perez right there. This is a train we got on him as well. 
just to show you guys because we did this a long time ago it starts in the right we can go back if we need to but i just know he was being a pain in the butt when we did that and that's why he stuck with 13. i would like to done 12 but yes and we're not killing for points or level reset tickets so i don't really care if we have to retrain him so let's do this thing gi please make sure you guys make the player a gold before you use the gi i say this every time if you guys don't do that um you just wasted a, an item that just makes me feel bad for you okay so let's go ahead and do that gold perez now done dark falcon you disagree <laughs> we're gonna have a talk over the stream okay <laughs> all right so grade increase he went to 68 i like bare minimum 71 72 not okay with that not okay with that so we have since we have five overall AM tickets, I would use those, but let's just, let's play some roulette right here with great increase reset tickets. Let's see if this, how far we can take it down. How, if, let's see if we have to use all four. I wanna do some, uh, some roulette. All right, so that's going down. Okay, that's why I don't care about great increase reset tickets at all. I just like to get them out of my inventory because they just depress me when that happens, okay? So. <laughs> We could have to use more overall amps than we would have had to, and that's two in a row that went down. 62. 62, okay, okay, okay. We can only go down two more points, guys. We can only go down two more points. Can we do it again? Okay, here, we're, here comes the success. I'm watching all the, rewatching all the lives. You got that Tony Perez like a year ago. It's been a long, whoa! Yo, okay, we don't have to use any overall amps. I love playing this. Great increase free ticket Russian roulette. See what happens? That's never happened before. I've never gone from a 62 or that low to a 75. Yo. <laughs> and that's a great increase reset ticket. That's a rarity. Has anyone gone from a 60 or 61? <laughs> to a 75? Because I just went 62 to 75. All right. See, that's why you play the Russian roulette. <laughs> Sorry for the yell, that caught me off guard. <laughs> to get some uh, some dubs in there, some dubs in the chat. <laughs> uh, I didn't even see what his final GI is when it's a 75. Let's see this real quick. You had two cards that went from a 60 to, six to 75. I've never gone a 62 to 75, I know that. I've had some decent luck with that. Dang, look at that power GI right there. That's nice, that's nice. <laughs> Came here because I heard it was a huge W. You know it, Benjamin. What's up? And Andrix, how's it going? Happened to me last night, Josh. Some good stuff. Jfish has only got shot twice. <laughs> yeah, I only shot, shot twice. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. All right, let's go ahead and black diamond them now. We're using the black diamond change ticket. We're maximizing the effect. Boom. Legend Perez. There we go. Then we got premiums. And I can't wait to get batter's chem or batter's insight on them it's really gonna make my day <laughs> there he is the black diamond legend cards are beautiful along with the black diamond sigs that are vintages um yeah there he is and now it's time it's time oh we got 14 premium go change tickets we got four i forgot from uh from the off season so we got 14 of these bad boys cool let's see if we can get any legend skills sig change bench I'm tr the only reason we have not sig changed yet, guys, I've been trying to wait for a diamond bench vintage or a diamond foster. Just just to save GIs. Even though we don't have a, like, a problem with GIs, we just have a lot of players that we can still GI. So. Speak it into existence. <laughs> you know me too well. You know me. Like The skill change sessions on this account just blow my mind. It's just it's eternally brutal. It's so bad. Um, So we're rolling the second. Let's open this up. Let's see the trash skills we get right here. Love getting some laser beam. Appreciate it, I appreciate it. Um, let's go ahead and roll. How many premium skill change tickets until we get a legend? Any guesses there? Sorry about the bang gals. Um, yeah. That's all that needs to be said. They played awful. Patty Mahomes is, uh, is just that guy, okay? So. And it looks like we'll be able to do 15 total. Ezekiel, how's it going? Went through 40 premium, 40 premium skill change tickets and got one legend skill. Was this on a legend though? Because you have a better chance on a legend, apparently. Eight for a legend skill? All right. I'm going to say it takes three. I'm going to say it takes three. 
I'm seeing three from lots of you guys too. You get batter's cam on a legend, I'd keep it. Yeah, I'd just roll in the other slot. But I mean, he's helpful right now, I'm pretty sure, looking at the lineup. I don't understand. I mean, he's helpful. Siri, can you leave me alone? Yeah, he would go in at third base. So, I mean, I would keep batter's cam in the second slot for sure. I mean, you never know where we'll be at eventually. But yeah, but yeah, you're right, you're right. I feel that, I feel that. Like, batter's cam wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Just with where we're at right now, it just sucks, okay? All right, first one. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful set right there. You love to see it. I said three, so this is two. I saw someone say eight. I see 10 in there. Marcos, how's it going? Hola. And by the way, guys, it's always going to be a three through three because it's a legend. So I've seen some of you guys say that before. Why are they always level three? It's because it's a legend. All right, my guess was wrong. So where's the coupon? At the end of the stream, Matthew. At the end of the stream. Cody, how's it going? And we're through four now. Cool, cool. Feeling good about this? Feeling good? <laughs> I spoke it into existence, guys. So it took, it took five. And I actually didn't even keep Batter's Insight. I meant to keep Batter's Insight because we had ca Charisma in Batting Machine. Um, I didn't actually mean to, to keep Slugger Instinct because that was technically better. Um, but would I have ever used that set? No, so I don't even actually care. <laughs> I meant to keep that, guys. I actually did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, that's an L. That's an L. I meant to keep it, but, you know. Batter's insight. That just shows how much I don't care about that skill, right? I actually meant to keep that. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but uh, I wasn't gonna use it, but I still wanted to keep it, so... Yeah, I actually meant to keep that, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Slugger Instinct. I like Slugger Instinct more than, uh, than that, you know? <laughs> Would I have used that set? No. I'm making sure I keep this one though. Yes. We are gonna keep that slot forever. We're still trying to get a slot that we can use though, guys. We're still trying to get a slot that we can use because he will be my third baseman until not, so. We're gonna continue, we're gonna continue. Okay. I can't even complain right now. I can't even complain. Big stuff, big stuff. Now you're not now you're gonna get nothing guaranteed. We actually still got Batters Chem. I called both. Batters Chem is the W on a legend? I'm not saying it's not. It is a W. I'm just saying right now, Tony Perez will actually be more useful in the field. Um, since we have a normal third baseman. So that's why. But Batters Chem, eventually, he's probably gonna be my Batters Chem guy. So yeah, unless we roll it on someone else, but I'm, I'm happy about that. I mean, I am. I'm glad that I kept that in uh, not Batters Insight, so. Micah, how's it going? <laughs> I can't even be mad. I low key want a blue Batters Insight right now, even though I, I would never do that. You know what, let's roll with this. Let's just roll with this, you know? Why not? Why not? You know, is is it good enough to just keep Charisma, Slugger, Instinct, and roll with Batter's Insight? Xander, what's up? Gosh, man, we rolled three Legend Skills and Batter Insight twice. I really gotta stop speaking that stuff, you know? <laughs> Imagine if we rolled Pioneer, man, or Batter Ball Hitter. That would have been legendary status right there. I don't even know what I should do. I know Char and Slug is good, I know. Like, is that good enough to just throw him in the line, in, at third base with Charisma and Slugger Instinct and Batter's Insight? I know, AKs, I know. At this level, yeah, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just do it, let's just throw him in there. 
I don't know how I would want to finish the train though. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use these and see. I mean, we'll use this set and see how he does. I mean, batter's insight, you really can't get worse than that, but. Yeah, that's I know, Charisma and Slugger Instinct is, is decent. That's why I was sticking with it. I mean, is batter's insight useful? I guess it could be, depending on what skill it takes down, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess. So what we'll do, we'll finish this train and then we'll special train and then we'll be done. We're not gonna train uh, overall today. How do we wanna finish this train? We'll train it for having Slugger Instinct. I guess we wanna go I2. What are we feeling, what are we feeling? Um, third base, we'll take out Suarez. I mean, that is an upgrade over Suarez. I mean, it is an upgrade. So. <sighs> um, let's see, let's see. I didn't actually save it. Let's see. There and save that. Now let's go and train him real quick. So, power was low on the train. I'm just going to stick with this train. I don't care about that extra point. I'm not wasting anything right now. So I'm thinking, do we want to go eight power one eye? Or do we want to divide a little bit more to eye? What are we filling? Now, if we went eight power, that'd be 17 power for the development and 14 eye if we went one eye. We got plenty of amp tickets. We have 420, 420. So we're not killing for that. Doesn't need the BIU threshold out the reach frame. Yeah, yeah, if you can get him there, I would. Nine power? Well, I want I to be two though. And contact is higher, both in the grade crease and basic stacks. I don't want contact to be two. Seeing six three, six three, but then that would make I one. I don't want to make I one. I'm saying, I'm saying eight power one eye. Seven two from aces. Tied and we'll give out the code when we're done. Two premium packs, 20 good strings by the way. I'm seeing mostly eight ones. Now I'm seeing lots of seven twos. So if we went seven, that'd be 16 power, 15 eye. With eye being significantly lower, I, I can see that. Seven, 16. You know what, let's go seven. Let's go zero seven two. I like 072. I like that. So let's go plus three power, plus three power, and then plus two I plus one power. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so that's easy money. That's easy money. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, I agree. We could we could have gone eight one, but with I being significantly lower than contact and power, I I do agree that we should probably go seven two on that. Seven two. I agree. Good stuff. And then we'll see how far we can special train them. Um, let's see, we need eye power, boom. None. All right, so there he is. He is now to level 20, and now we got a special train real quick. That shouldn't take long. There it is, so he, power will be number one, eye number two. That's the train, I'll take it, I'll take it. And let's special upgrade. I have not upgraded someone in a long time with these items. So let's see, how far can we get them today? Players, we don't want to use these guys or all of them. Let's just do items for now. Actually, let's just do this. Don't care about the red players. Don't really care about you, Vado. Don't care, don't care. Cueto's already done. We'll keep bench, Correa can go. All right, that's fine. And then we'll go the rest of the items. We might be able to get them to 10 actually. The press train is 13, 16, 16. Not bad, you could have done that. I could, that's a good one because his power will still be the number one, but I couldn't have gotten power and I to be the same, I'm pretty sure, based off of the way I had it. So, but yes, that's still a good train for sure. Okay, let's see. Wow, we have so much stuff here. We might be able to get him to 10. We might be able to, I don't know. 
Joe Wright, how's it going? Can we play totally baseball after the stream? I cannot play after the stream. I gotta eat dinner and I got schoolwork to do. That's more of a weekend thing if I'm playing not for videos and stuff. Like if I'm playing Fortnite, which I have been playing no build on Fortnite on the weekends with some of my buddies. Not gonna lie, no build Fortnite? I can I can I can mess with it. Are you checking cards for them the stream? I'll look at I'll probably only look at Paul's looking at the time because he did mention Perez. Um let's see. Alright, we got him at 10. Let's go. Let's go. Maxed out Perez right there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Boom, there we go. And there we go. Um We feeling charisma on this set? I would say charisma. Between charisma and slugger instinct, because we have a legend skill, we can't take that up. I'm thinking charisma though. Especially with it normally getting nerfed, right? What's the channel? We're 113 on No Messiah. I barely play Fort anymore. It's only a normally weekend thing. Charisma, you guys agree with charisma? That's my that's what I'm thinking. How old are you, Jay? I'm 21. Charisma, charisma, always charisma, 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 10 out of times here. Okay, good. We're all on the same page. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. All right, so we'll see how he does with Batter's Insight, but Charisma, Slugger Instinct is still a solid set in of itself. And um, eventually we can make him a Batter Chem guy. So, you know, I, I can't even complain. I I'll actually give that a success right there. I'll actually give that a success. And there we go. Why can't I use this? I don't know. I don't care. But that's it. That's we're done with that. That's it. It's already 757, so. <sighs> Man. Prez is in there. I do char. There you go. That's gotta be you, right? That's gotta be you. Let's look at this real quick. You mentioned it earlier. There's your train told to the right. I wish I could have gotten that. That's looking absolutely beautiful. I love it, I love it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is this train right here. So you take down that 92. Unless you got 12 to speed, you're probably not gonna get the barreled up increase looking at that. Yeah, I don't know. Would you guys blue barreled up? Cause I don't think he would ever be able to hit the threshold of at least 100 unless he got 12 to speed and nothing to field, right? If you take away the five from the condition, that'd be 92. He would need eight more to hit 100, which means you would have to go 12 on the development. And you don't want that to be top three. I don't know. What do you guys suggest to Paul on that? What do you guys suggest to Paul in that situation? I mean, then again, I. You gotta think, is barreled up a good enough skill to be used without the bonus? Oh, during a game, because the game is going. You're right. You're right. Carter, I got you right there. I forgot we started that game. You're right. Let's switch to battle lineup, right? Can we do it there? No, I had to put him in. Give me a second, guys, okay? I'm sorry. Can we condition him in the battle, please? Please. There we go. All right, so here he is. Finish off with not down condition. That's what he's looking like right there. And so. All right, I wish that was Pioneer. I would have literally screamed. I would have actually screamed, but it is what it is. That's mine. I know, Paul. I know. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for the stream. No time for a roll today. It's already eight o'clock, goodness gracious. Um, let me give out the coupon code. Two premium packs, 20 condition drinks. That is it for today. We will be opening up historic player packs, I'm pretty sure for like for sure next week, as long as everything works itself out. And that's gonna be absolute circus, so.
Yeah, Benjamin, I, yeah, I forgot I had a league game going and I, that's why I just switched to the battle mode, so. Yes, we are putting the code in the chat right now. That is the link right there. It is in the chat. You can click on it. It'll take you to your browser and then you'll press OK and it'll take you back to the game. Go to your inbox. You'll see two premium packs, 20 condition drinks. And then if you are an Android device, there's another way to do it in game without having to use the link. But if you're on an iOS or iPhone device, then you cannot use the in game version. You have to use that link. So, um, yeah. So let me switch this over. I'm not going to use the link. I'm going to use the in game version. But um, let's switch this over. Joe, have a good night as well. So let's go ahead and do that. If you go to event up here, this gold thing at the top, and then you hit enter coupon code right there and hit this coupon exchange shop. And then you type in the very end of that link, which is MLB9I23JAN. Hit enter. Coupon code has been redeemed. And then if you guys go to your inbox, you will see these gifts from the coupon, two premium packs, 20 kinds drinks, collect them, and boom, that is it. And then if you are on an iOS device, you have to use the link. You can use the link or that on the Android stuff. So. Paul, go get some food in your stomach, my man. Or go go get some food in my stomach. Yes, yes, I, I need some food. I don't know if you've already ate, so. <laughs> coupon worked good, good, good. Let me say, what's Bobby? I'll see you later, Xander. I'll see you later, 4983. Brandon, how's it going? If I didn't say what's up, I'll say hello. Barreled up isn't terrible, even if it doesn't have the hit bonus. I mean, if you have blues to waste, I could see maybe, but yeah, if you're short for blues, I wouldn't touch it. Just depends on the situation you're in. Are you really maximizing that set without barreled up being fully having the bonus? No, but is it the end of the world? No, so. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. It was good to be back next week. We have the historic player packs. <laughs> we're already over 41 there. We were going over 51 probably, which is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Yep, I will send that to you. Um, I will send that stuff to you. Paul, I'll see you later as well. Okay, I'll see you later. Just put your first diamond from one of these coupon codes. Let's go! Hey, at least you got a diamond. Let's go. It makes me feel better. <laughs> All right, guys, we are heading out. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys have not already liked and subscribed, I'd be we would highly appreciate that. And um, I'd say this was a W stream. It could have gone a lot worse. It could have gone better, but it went pretty good, better than it has in the past. So I'll take it. Um, stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Peace.